Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple dish. It's an Italian dish that we make and it used to be made with anchovies. But because we're vegan, we don't do anchovies. I'm going to show you how you can make a similar dish that tastes just as good and it has almost that fishy taste. So we're going to start off with, I'm going to heat up my stove. And we're going to get ourselves my cast iron pan. There we go. And we're going to put a little bit of oil. And we're going to add, oops, long burner. You can tell this is not my stove. <laughs> All right. We're at the cabin, and we haven't made a video in such a long time. Uh, my daughter is moving, and we have started to fix up her place. Not the cabin. This is where she's going to be living in the city. And, of course, Mama and Daddy is helping her. Okay, we're going to start off with a little bit of breadcrumb, and we're going to make almost like a toasted crumble. Now, all I have is this, but what you can use is, um, I'm using just plain breadcrumbs, otherwise Italian breadcrumbs comes with cheese, and we're not doing that. But what you can use is the Japanese breadcrumbs. And that'll be even nicer so we're just gonna add a little extra oil and I'm gonna show you let me just get a I'm sorry I'm all over the place here we just went to bring JJ for a walk and Erica's given him a bath because he is covered in sand it's been raining up here so we haven't even made an outdoor video for my other channel let me just bring that up a little we want to toast it you do want to mix it often now you don't have to use olive oil you can use vegan butter it'll be just as good but you want this toasted and we're going to use this as a topping later on maybe just a little extra oh yeah erica is renovating her place and uh, we're helping her so she just had her floors done and since we can't walk on those floors and really do much we decided to come up here and we haven't been up here in a while the last time we came here it was it still had snow well a while it's like about a month um, it still had snow and now the lake has been defrosted. There's no more snow. And the loon is out, so that's fun. But it's been muggy and rainy. Okay, so you want to toast this. So I have it on high, but I don't want to burn it, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. You really need a few ingredients for this recipe. Just want to put that on high. And get this nice and golden or brown. Even a little over toasted is nice. If I had the stove on, I would have used that. But it's so hot in here, we don't want to even turn that on. We had it on this morning and it was crazy hot but yeah so we haven't had time to make videos for my cooking channel or for uh, my other channel where we do outdoor stuff so I do apologize for that but we have to get her settled and that's what's important right now so I hope you guys can understand Maybe not high high it's starting to smoke Let 
then we're going to put this on a plate and we're going to save it for when we pass our pasta. So I hope you guys are all doing great. Maybe you could tell me in the comments what you guys have been up to. Okay, this is perfect. I am going to shut this. And there we are. So we have a beautiful toasted crumb here. Okay, we're going to put that on there. All right, sorry for the bells, guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, we are going to lower that. Put this aside so we don't scorch anything. My cast iron is very hot right now. But here is my crumble. Made a little smoke so the filter is going on. And we're gonna use this later on. Need some garlic. There's some cloves. I'm just going to chop it up lightly. Give it a good chop. Normally we would be using anchovies. But instead, oh, I am making a mess. These are black olives, but not just regular black olives. Let me just put them. These are wrinkled black olives. Now these olives here, what we normally do with it the, with these olives is we crush some garlic and we also add some orange zest and we toss them and we serve them when we have people over but this my friend has a nice fishy taste to it very easy to peel once you make a little slit the pit pretty much comes off by itself so we're just going to clean it out that way for now and then we're going to worry about how we're going to cut it. See how easy that is? We might leave them whole or we might chop it up a little. Very easy to clean. I'm not sure what the name of these olives are. Is the name on the jar? They're called baked black, baked black olives in oil. So they get pretty shriveled up. And if you smell them, they almost have like a, a salty, not really fishy, but because anchovies are so salty, and so are these, it's a great replacement. So very easy to, to clean. They pretty much, the pit pops out 
on its own. You might get one that's a little tough, but otherwise, very soft, very meaty, and it makes a great replacement as a vegan anchovy dish. I love, love, love these olives. Like I said, usually if we have people coming over, if it's a holiday, we always put some of these on the table and we pretty much just toss them. They're already oiled. So we pretty much just toss them with some orange zest, garlic, uh, maybe a drizzle of maple, just to add a little sweetness to it. Lightly, you don't want to over chop these. So just a lightly chop, okay? And we're gonna need a little bit of, here we go, tomato paste. Because it's gonna be a fast sauce. This is really fast. If you're making this for dinner, basically you have to cook your pasta and your pasta takes about maybe eight minutes to cook, depending on what pasta you have. And the sauce really, it's taking me longer because I gotta play around with this camera. Otherwise, it really doesn't take long at all. Okay, you do need a little bit of water. Okay, so we're gonna put the Burner on a medium to start off with. We're going to add, of course, some olive oil. This is one dish that you pretty much need some olive oil. And we're going to start off with our garlic. Oh, JJ. He really doesn't like to bathe, but he was a mess when we brought him back in. We still had to take JJ out for a walk, even though it was raining. He needs his little walk. A little bit of maple butter. Okay. All right, JJ. And we're just gonna bring this up a little and we're gonna cook these up. You really don't have to do much cooking if you really think about it. Now, we're not going to add any salt to this. We'll add salt later once the dish is made. Okay, and now we're going to add our black olives. That's going to represent our anchovies. Like I said, the olives can be cut any way you want. And these are the olives that I'm using. It's just baked black olives in oil. And you really don't need that many. Just want to golden your garlic. Now if you want your garlic a little finer, you can. Okay, let me just lower this thank you Erica if you want to get the pot out so this way we can cook that pasta and once you see that your garlic is going golden you're going to take a nice keeping tablespoon of your tomato paste 
like to brown it in the pan. There for now. Believe it or not, it makes a big difference when you brown it. What it does is also help release some oil from the tomato. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. We're going to add a little bit of chili flakes to ours. shall wait and now we're going to add our water Definitely need some salt. Maybe even a little extra tomatoes and extra water. Now I've also made it with roasted tomato, diced tomatoes. That's very good. Mm, so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Just a little. Always better to add a little and then add extra if you need to. And that's it. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna let it simmer down a bit and I'm gonna start cooking my pasta. And this is gonna be ready. I just want to add a little extra olive oil and we also have some basil that we're going to use later on on top of our pasta and that's how simple it is to make this guys so I'll see you in a bit uh, this like I said it doesn't take long to uh, just have it at a simmer and then we're going to uh, cook our pasta and we're going to toss our pasta in this delicious delicious sauce and it's our replacement of anchovies. Mm -hmm. might have more pasta than sauce but that's okay I think our eyes were bigger than our stomach okay we're gonna leave the water there just in case we need a little bit of water Tablespoon of it. This should be one there. I'm sorry, guys, I've got my arms right in front of your face. We're going to add the breadcrumbs. Toss that in. I'm gonna bring that to a low. If you find your pasta is getting just a little too dry, just add a bit of 
your pasta water. My daughter just told me that the lens was dirty, guys. Oh well. And there you go. Dinner served in a matter of minutes. And there is your mock vegan anchovy dish. All right, Erica. Oop. Nice big plate. Give you a little bit of and there we go guys a very fast pasta for you and your family and I top mine with a little bit of my blue cheese there you go Hope you give this a try, and guess what guys, I'll see you in my next video. Good. I'm gonna get some cheese in there. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Good. Alright then. That's really good. Alright guys, love you and we'll see you soon.